So much can happen in football in, four, in a fortnight. Two weeks ago, after suffering their seventh consecutive league defeat, Brentford was seemingly dead and buried in 22nd place in the Football League First Division. But everything's turned around in a crazy 14-day spell that's seen seven points gathered from three games and three clean sheets. Confidence boosting away wins at Grimsby and Oxford United and a nil-nil home draw against promotion chasing Swindon Town have raised Brentford to the giddy heights of 16th place on the table and with a very real chance of escaping relegation. Tonight they play Sunderland, one place above them in the league, and Brentford could go ahead of Sunderland if they break their home bogey. It's now 595 minutes since Brentford have scored at Griffin Park. And Sunderland's also have been rather porous in their defence away from home, and are reeling from a 4-2 home defeat against relegation threatened South End on Saturday. Plenty of experience in the uh, Sunderland team with ex-Londoner Mick Harford leading the Sunderland attack following his transfer just for the transfer deadline from Chelsea. He and his partner up front Don Goodman have both scored at Griffin Park before for their previous clubs West Bromwich Albion and Bristol City in Mick Harford's case over a decade ago. Great applause beneath me as the fans pay tribute to Chris Hewton, who's just announced his retirement. And really, it was the failure to replace Chris Hewton that cost Brentford dear in the early months of this year. Only now, where Brentford has signed Kenny Sansom on a free transfer from Everton, that coupled with the return from injury of Colossus and team captain Terry Evans, have the Bees finally got their defence sorted out. And three clean sheets in the last three games bears testament to that. 12 minutes gone at Griffin Park, no score. Gale finds Blissett. Blissett will have to turn again. Gets it to Manuel. Well, nearly a mix up there between Kevin Ball and the goalkeeper. Ball took a swing at that cross from Billy Manuel. Missed it. And Tony Norman just managed to hang on as he was unsighted by his defender. That could have been disastrous. Ball, back to Tony Norman, slices it, well Stevenson tried to bring the ball under control and got hit from behind, but Martin Burdenham saw nothing wrong with that, Bannington, Well, that was a fine effort from 35 yards from Mick Harford. Forces Graham Benstead to go down at his right-hand post to smother. Determined jump by Blissett. Oh, and the ball came down for Billy Manuel. Had to hit it quickly. Good long throw from Sanson, but headed straight back for Goodman. Given away, Dickens. Got Stevenson, Statham making an overlap. scale about 10 yards out he turns turning Norman out of position and he easily hit the far corner looking for Blissett well off the back of Billy Manuel's heel that would have been an impudent goal I don't know how much he knew about that
Mark just got a turn. Oh, and Gale somehow misses. How did he miss that? Gary Blissett forced Terry Butcher into an error. Blissett did brilliantly. He hit a firm shot across Tony Norman. The keeper could only pour it out. And Gale seemingly had an open goal. The ball from Ratcliffe. Stevenson chance to cross. And Gale couldn't quite direct the ball with any power. But nice play between Ratcliffe, Stevenson and Gale. Ball from Ratcliffe. Well, I suppose that counts as a shot, but very weak. The Sunderland come away. It's a terrible ball. Gets the rebound off Evans's chest. Gets the ball to Atkinson. Beats Bennett. A tired challenge that. Someone's just been on for two minutes. Chance for Gray to cross. And it's headed on by Harford, and Goodman scores. Well, Brentford went to sleep at the back then. And with 10 minutes to go, Sunderland have equalised through John Goodman. Gray put a cross beyond the far post. Harford headed the ball on, and John Goodman really couldn't miss from within the six-yard box. Deep into injury time now, Mr Bodnum, looking at his watch, can't be long to go. Brentford couldn't hold on to Marcus Gale's first half goal and Don Goodman looks like he's given Sunderland a point. Stay them. It's the throw. Last bit of urgency from Brentford. reacted beautifully nearly the sting in the tail from Marcus Gale caught it well good height for the goalkeeper one with the goal kick and that's the full time whistle final score at Griffin Park it's Brentford 1 Sunderland 1